A disabled woman from Barnet is taking her local authority to court over its plans to outsource some of its services. Maria Nash claims the council has failed to consult residents over the changes. Well, our reporter Matthew Morris is at the High Court for us now. Matthew. Yes, well, as you say, this case is being brought by the Barnet resident, Maria Nash. She's a woman with disabilities, and she's arguing that all these changes are going to really impact on her quality of life. This centres on Barnet Council's One Barnet Plan. That's, what's, uh, that's the name being given to the, I, the plan to outsource many services on two separate 10-year contracts. The first is worth £320 million. Pounds. That's for things like a new call centre, IT and payroll services. The the second contract is worth £142 million, and that's for things like trading standards, licensing uh, and, and planning. Now, Maria Nash's lawyers are arguing that the council failed to consult local people properly and failed to follow equality guidelines. We need a voice. Nothing about us without us should be our core. We should be able to have a voice and to be asked what we want, how we want it, and be given that service. So, Matt, what does Barnet Council have to say? Well, Barnet Council, of course, sees things very differently. It says that difficult decisions have to be made, uh, and it argues that even with the first contract on its own, it can save the taxpayer £1 million every single month. Opponents, uh, of course, say that that's missing the point, that this shouldn't be about money. This should be about local services provided uh, to a good standard and not potentially moving 800 posts to a completely different part of the UK. The hearing is expected to last until Thursday. Matt, thank you. Matthew Morris there.